Hey guys, welcome back to Snow Kitchen Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode number 46. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Um, first, I want to say welcome to everyone, the new subscribers. It's going up a little bit still. And um, the returning sub subscribers. I can't speak. I just woke up a little while ago, but I'm going to get this filmed before we get out of the house and doing stuff today. Uh, it is Saturday, June 16th. Um, Jesse's being babysit today, so that means Devin can have like a date day. And we're going to go Pokemon because there's a event today on Pokemon Go. And then later tonight we're going to go into to our local drive-in to watch two movies. Um, because it's only $7 a person to watch two movies. So that's a good deal. But, um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in. I don't think I have any little announcement. Oh, I do have one thing. <laughs> I do have one thing. Um, Sunday. No, not Sunday. Tuesday. This coming Tuesday will be my one year anniversary <laughs> of being on YouTube. That's pretty cool. I can't believe it's been a year. I actually thought that the year mark was in July. That's why I didn't talk about it sooner because I um I was thinking I still had about a month to worry about it. But um I was I was gonna plan on having a giveaway for it, but like I said, I wasn't prepared. I was I didn't even know it was a year until something popped up on something and told me. <laughs> I don't know. Um so I might still have a giveaway, but it's gonna be a week or so so I can get stuff together for it. I am currently having another giveaway for the June Nick Crate, there's a video for it. I will try to link it um, above if I can remember. Uh, if not, it'll be linked below for sure. Um, but yeah, it's a really pretty minty green kind of color. Uh, giving away two hanks of it. So if you're interested in that, hop over there and uh, comment on the video. And the only other thing I'm doing to celebrate my one year anniversary on YouTube is in my Etsy store, which will always be. All, 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 which will also be linked below. Um, I'm having a 15% off all my bags sell from current, you know, it's going on right now to um, it ends on the 21st. That night I'll end it sometime. So uh, you can get one of my project bags for $17 and then shipping. So that's a pretty good deal, I think. <laughs> but yeah, um, I have one I got to mail out this morning. <laughs> After I film this video, I'll take it to the post office. I always do try to mail out packages super fast because I know when I order stuff, I want them to ship it out fast. Um, I hate when you order something from a shop and then they they take like a week just to print the label. And then once the label is printed, it doesn't actually ship for another week or so. I hate that. It's so annoying. So I do try to do it uh, usually that day or the day after, depending on what time it is. Anyways... Welcome back and woohoo for when you're on YouTube. Uh, let's hop into the yarn stuff because, like I said, I, after get a little after I get all this done, I haven't really babble or whatever. I don't know. I just can't talk. <laughs> after I get all this done, I'm going to get ready to go out and about today with Devin. He's still asleep. I'm trying to film this before he wakes up. Um, because we're gonna have a lot of fun today, hopefully. But yeah, let's see here. I have three finished objects this week, which is good because I don't think I've had a finished object in since the last two videos I haven't so three videos ago I think I had a finished object I can't remember but this week I have three smaller ones um two little loveys and an amigurumi the loveys uh were made I went to a neighboring city I had to take my brother over there because he he's looking for a car his uh caught on fire actually the stereo wiring caught on fire but um we went to the Joann's while we were, no, Hobby Lobby. We did go to Joann's, but I didn't get these actual ones. Uh, we went to the Hobby Lobby in that town. It's way bigger than my local Hobby Lobby. It's like two of my Hobby Lobbies put together. I went because I was wanting to see if they had any of the clearance yarn. I was going to buy some more, but they didn't. None of it was marked down there. But I was just walking around. I ended up getting some fabric, and I already put it up. But um, I got a bunch of fabric. I shared it on the Facebook group. And, uh... Then I found like a little tiny clearance section over by where like the batting and stuff like that is. And it had some material and some random like dollhouse kind of stuff. You know, just random craft stuff. And then there were also two at the top of this by, I think it's DMC. It's the people who make the embroidery floss. They make this uh, yarn. Excuse me. And it's a yarn that comes with a little toy head to put on as the pom-pom. And they had two balls of it. Marked down to 90 cents from 8.99 because they didn't have labels. 
so um, I grabbed them. <laughs> also got some stickers, but um, so I made two little loveys out of them. They're the bunnies. This this yarn is really weird. <laughs> I don't know if I'd ever want to buy it again because it's not really yarn. It's like I think it's called chain plied or something. I don't think you can see it, but it's um, it's just really weird. It's like a cord almost. This part is real fuzzy and soft, and this part's just like normal. But it's just weird. I don't know. I just didn't like it. And tying the ends were a little difficult. The little bunnies are all fluffy because I didn't tie it tight. They are just tied in there. Because I thought if I did give these to someone, they could take the bunny off to wash it. Or um, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, they're little, just little pink loveys with little bunnies on top. I didn't think that ooh, was bad at all for 90 cents, you know. Because, um... If I were to sell them, that would instantly be a profit, but I don't think I'll sell them. I think I'll probably just end up giving them to people as they have baby girls. Because it's always good to have baby gifts on hand for uh, random babies. You never know. <laughs> Alright, the pattern that I used for the blanket part, let me take one of the heads off. Um, was a pattern that I used for the Harry Potter themed lovey I did recently. <laughs> I did nine rows of the Rainbow Ripple Baby Blanket by Celeste Young. I love that name, Celeste. <clears throat> I did the first nine rows of it. And it's just this really pretty... I don't know what that would be called. It's kind of zigzag, but like ripple. Well, it says ripple in the name, doesn't it? Duh. <laughs> ripple Baby Blanket. I just... I like this one. I think this will be the one that I use for all my lovies from now on. Just because it gives it texture and... I don't know. It's just pretty. But yeah, the first nine rolls of that is what I used. I'll link it. It'll be linked below. I also made Jesse way back when I was pregnant with him, a, a actual huge one uh, of in a pretty blue color, the whole blanket. And we loved it. That's the one I used the most with him when he was little. Uh, I made it with a Red Heart Super Saver. I think it's called Light Blue or Pale Blue or something like that. And it got so soft after I washed it, and I just always used it with him. But yeah, I haven't washed these yet because I was waiting to show you. But I think they turned out really pretty. Now I gotta put that head back on there. Oh yeah, here it is. It is DMC. I only know who DMC is because my sister uh, cross stitches and embroiders, and she buys DMC thread a lot. I thought that was neat when I got it because I was like, hmm, I didn't even know they made yarn. But now let's put the bunnies over there. All right, my next finished object I love. I want to make one for myself. I wanted to keep this, and this I used the a pattern for the. The amigurumi itself, but I I, uh, I winged the outfit for him and his sock <laughs> because the pattern that she had written for his outfit was really hard to understand. And I didn't know what she meant from it, so I just winged it. But it is Dobby the House F by Lucy Kate. It's a free pattern. <laughs> Look at him. He's so adorable. Look at his little face. His ears are straight, but his head a little wobbly but I actually like it a little wobbly because it gives it like a, a a doll you know effect <laughs> but yeah his little outfit I did make myself it's just half double crochet two panels stitched together with a little it looks like they're tied but I actually stitched them together um, because like I said her pattern was hard to figure out and then I did make him a little sock and the sock does come off <laughs> um, because he needs a sock to be free. I don't know if you guys know Harry Potter, but the house elves are kind of like slaves in the in the books and movies. They have to like clean and do whatever the person who owns them wants. But once they get a piece of clothing that's given to them, they become free. And uh, Harry Potter gives Dobby his sock in the second movie. Yeah, towards the end of the second movie. And uh, so I made the sock. That's why I made it black because I believe in the movie it's black. So I thought that was cute. Uh, the sock wasn't part of the pattern either, but I looked on, I had an idea to make a sock, and then when I was looking at the project pages just to see what other people used as colors, um, they had socks, and I was like, I'm going to make a sock too. Um, the pattern had like a blue color for his outfit, but in the movie, it's really close to his skin color. It's like a nude color, so I went ahead and made it that color, but I think he's so cute. Let's see here. I used an elf hook, and... His skin color is Red Heart Super Saver Buff. Excuse me. His little pillowcase <laughs> is Mainstay's Erin. And his sock is just Red Heart Super Saver Black. I actually had a little tiny scrap ball. 
and this it was exactly enough to finish this or I used it all up I guess because I didn't use the pattern I just increased it to a little bit bigger than his foot and then decreased it to the other side side of his foot this part and then I just made the leg and up until I ran out of yarn so I thought that was neat a little use of a scrap ball so um, these this and the little lovey which I have somewhere over there I didn't grab it is gonna be a baby gift for um, a baby <laughs> that my mom is going to a baby shower for in a week or so uh, and it's a Harry Potter themed baby shower. I can't wait to see pictures from it. I'm, I'm going to make her take pictures of everything. <laughs> so, um, I thought Harry Potter little things would be cute. Uh, what else? Is there anything else about that? I already said that I made that myself. Uh, this is a really simple pattern and quick. The legs and arms are made exactly the same, except you increase the legs one more time than the, yar the arms. Maybe twice. Just to make them bigger. And it's just, you increase and decrease a little bit and then single crochet all the way up. <laughs> And the body was easy. It's just increase, decrease. The head was nice. I love that the nose was part of the pattern instead of sewn on. And the ears were easy to make. Though I kind of was worried about sewing them on that they'd be ear would look weird. But I, I pulled it really tight while I was sewing it so that the stitches wouldn't show. And uh, I actually got them even, <laughs> which is hard for me to do. Usually they're wonky. I just think he's so adorable. I would love to make one of these just to have sitting on a shelf somewhere. Um, if I made one for myself, I'd probably make it a little outfit and like two socks just to show that it was a free elf and not a enslaved one. <laughs> but yeah, I love that little doll. Alright, my whips. I've only... I've got three whips, but I've only worked on two of them. I didn't work at all on the Christmas lights, so I'm not even going to show them. Let's get this one first one out. That it's attached to. All right, my first whip. I just working on it last night. I wanted to finish up the Dobby, so I've been working on him, hardcore. I need some slack. Uh, and it is Cats Are Liquid by a name that I can't pronounce, but it'll be Bulho. I'm never gonna try to pronounce it. And I'm kind of. It looks a little weird. I think it's. I think a lot of the shaping is in the stuffing. I don't know, it just looks weird shaped. We'll see when I finish it. I'm using the elf hook, and it's actually one of my cute hooks my sister got me. It's a little pink one. Uh, and it's Red Heart Super Saver Buff. This is just a scrap ball of it. This is its head, and this will be its body. And I've just got to where I'm decreasing this so that it's going to fold back in. <laughs> and um, I'll pop up a picture real fast of what it's supposed to look like. It kind of doesn't look like the picture, so I don't know if I did something wrong, but I'm just going to go ahead and try to finish it and see if maybe the shaping is in the stuffing. So I think it's going to be something like that once it gets decreased. But yeah, I'm planning on making his tail and his ears, I think, out of a dark color brown. And it would be a lot like the picture I just showed. And then I do, uh, I thought I wanted to make more, a bunch of these, but I'm not really liking the pattern. It's written weird and I mean it looks weird right now. I don't know if I messed up or what, but we'll see. Uh maybe tonight <laughs> if I can finish it up. But yeah, that's a that's an alright pattern. It's just I'm not sure if I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> have to uh wait and see. But yeah, that is a free pattern on Ravelry, it'll be linked below. It's in one of my bags. It's in a big Christmas one I made. It's a box to bottom one. Alright, my last whip that I've been working on. Whoops stitch markers <laughs> is my corner to corner baby blanket um i was hoping to get a lot more of this done but i had such a hard time with the cakes i was trying to get them to <coughs> excuse me i was trying to get them to line up with the other cakes so that the color um what i'm what we're looking for color flow would be the same but i couldn't figure it out so i just gave up and winged it uh i did end up having to rewind my my mandala cakes into reverse cakes to get the colors going in the right direction and um that took a little while but i got it i still gotta learn to hold my tension on my uh, when i'm winding use my yarn runner but yeah last time i didn't i mean i finished the first two cakes because last time i was still attached let me get some slack <laughs> i have to move back a little bit all right <laughs> Last time I was right here, and this is a cute little stitch marker that was sent to me in a stitch marker swap with Marsha. 
little fish. <laughs> I had a different one on here, but when I got these in the mail, I switched it out. <laughs> oh, it's big. So I did do quite a few inches. <laughs> I used up all of the rest of these first two cakes, and then I did attach the new two cakes. I'm not liking how it's just going straight to white, but I'm just going to go with it because I literally tried it and then frogged it and tried it in front of well, at least six times trying to get the colors right. It did uh, mix up here, but I wish it had started mixing sooner so it would have flowed better like right here. But I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to make it and it's just going to be an extra baby blanket. I mean, if I make, if I get further into it and I don't like the way it looks, all I can do, you know, all I have to do is, excuse me, I'm really burping. All I have to do is rip it out and start over with that part, not the whole thing. But yeah, I think it's going to be really pretty and it's going to be a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. But that's good because once it gets washed, it'll be super soft and it'll be a big snuggly blanket for some little girl in the future. Alright. Let me stuff that back in the project bag. Put my cakes back in the bottle. And my blanket. I'm using an H hook for that, and it's just a corner to corner to stitch back and forth. So I don't have to link a pattern for that. It's leaving in the only zipper bag I ever made, and probably, I don't know if I'll make another one anytime soon. I am planning on learning or working on <laughs> some uh, little zipper bags, like pouches, notion pouches. Because I want to make matching pou pouches for my bags to put in Ravelry so people can buy a matching little pouch to go with their project bag to put, you know, stitch markers and hooks and whatever. And just notions. But yes, all my whips. I do have the Christmas lights, but I've not worked on them. So, and to be honest, I forgot about them. I'm going to have to move my whip bucket from somewhere other than up there. Because <laughs> with it up there, I forget about looking in it. So... But, and also, I spent most of my crocheting time working on that Dobby and that blanket trying to figure out how to get the colors to flow up. So, yeah. Okay, I do have a few more whips, but they're not, um, or a few more finished objects, but they're not crochet. They're stitch markers. I bought, also at Hobby Lobby, my Hobby Lobby had a bunch of the bead things marked down. So, I bought a bunch of beads. And I also bought some of these at, um, Joann's when we were in Joann's. And these, some of these will be listed in my shop <clears throat> soon, but I have to wait to get more of the little uh, fastener thingies on the top and little things. I ordered them, and I just have to wait for them to come because I ran out of them. Because I like making sets of at least four to sell to people. But I made some chickens. They're glass, little chickens. And I got more of these to make uh, for a set. And then I also made... Uh, some little fish. I thought these were cute. Oh, little fish. Oh, quit moving. Little fish. <laughs> and then this random spider. And it's not heavy. It's really light. It's made out of nickel, I think. So it's it wouldn't pull on the yarn. I've got a few more of these spiders. Uh, I do have more pandas, if anyone's interested in that. I sold all my pandas really fast last time. Uh, this right here is two, and then I still have, I think, six more to make. Once, um... I get my fasteners in. Little pandas. They're cute. They're also glass. And these owls. I got a bunch more of these. These are just two colors. I got some darker color ones. Oh, turn around, little fella. Little owls. And these little ball thingies. I don't know what these would be called. <laughs> I think they're cute though. They kind of look antique -y. And I have a few more colors of these that I'll be making too. Once I get more fasteners. And these are all light. They're not super heavy. They wouldn't weigh down your, um, your yarn. They wouldn't stretch it. These can be used as stitch markers or progress keepers. Because they're easy to unhook. I also made these turquoise Goals. That one thing is twisted. There we go. And then I also have a white one and a green one. <laughs> oh, a quick jig one. I've got a few more skulls. I think I got some pink ones and stuff. But yeah, let me show you the fastener if anyone's interested. 
it is an earring. <laughs> I guess you could technically wear these as earrings if you wanted to. But, um, I like this. I bought some a while ago from someone. A stitch marker, I mean. And it had this on it, and I never thought to use these. And this is good because it's nice and thin, so you can get it through your yarn really easily. And it's easy to open and shut. And it's pretty big. It's bigger than a lobster clasp. clasp which I have trouble with the little lobster clasps getting them open and on the yarn. Um, and the jumbo lobster clasps are way more expensive than these. I can get a hundred count of these on Amazon for like six dollars plus shipping. So that's cool. Whereas lobster clasps, you can get like eight of them for two ninety nine. Also, my sister bought me. I bought a ton more beads too, but they're I already put them up. I didn't even think about showing them. But my sister came over um, yesterday, and she had bought me some beads also that I'm going to be making stitch markers out of. Some of them I might keep though because I really like these. She bought me two sets of strong, strand, strand beads, strong beads. <laughs> they're these pretty glass. They almost look like they're shattered on the inside. I don't know how they do that. But just all these pretty colors. And those are like square ones and then these are circle ones. And they look the same. They look like they're shattered on the inside. And then they got these little beads. I love it when they come with these little beads because you can use those, you know, like that to make a stitch marker. And then she bought me this little set. Make sure they're all facing that way. A key, a pearl, a lock. And that little thing in the middle is a door and it says shut the front door. <laughs> Which is a cuss word in the south. this set is little cowboy related things that one in the middle is a wanted sign and this right here is a little money bag bullet and a gun and a boot and this one is pirate charms that, that one's a bird like a parrot sword crossbones a little pirate head yeah, let's make sure we're just have a treasure box and a map. She also bought me a bunch of um, thank you cards because every order that I get on Etsy, I send a little thank you card with some stitch markers attached to it. Um, and she bought me some cute uh, ones with sheep on it, so I'll be using those ones from now on, which is cool. And I think that's everything. Oh, wait, I did buy this. I got another acquisition. <laughs> when I went to get the beads and things, I went to get some yarn, or not yarn, material to make a bag with. And, um, I did look at the yarn again, and there, Amaya Hobby Lobby still has a ton of it on sale, but I didn't want to spend all my money on just yarn, because I have a lot, and I didn't use it up. But I did buy four, um, skeins, skeins, whatever you want to call them, and, um, they're all the same, so I'll just show you two of them. They are, I love this yarn, what are they called again? Turquoise Sky. Does that got all the colors showing up? Yeah, right there. Just pretty pink, purple, white, yellow, and a turquoise color. I got four of these. I thought that would be enough to make a little blanket. So I thought that would be a really cute baby blanket. Maybe corner to corner or some kind of stitch. I don't know. I'll figure that out. And then uh, one, and then I can just take one of these colors out of it, you know, to make a border with. Ooh. These are only 99 cents each, by the way. I don't know if you saw that sticker. Good deal. So that would be like a $4 blanket. Because whatever color I use for the border, I'd probably already have on hand. And I don't ever count the cost of stuff that I have on hand. That was in my other bag. But yeah, that's all of my whips and finished objects and acquisitions, I think. I always look around to make sure. Um, oh, <laughs> I have one of these pulled up. Actually, I have two of them pulled out because I want to make an amigurumi out of them soon. And I, was, I just looked at it and I was like, well, where's my second one? And then I remembered you're sitting on it. You're propped up. It's behind you holding you up. <laughs> That's so funny. But, um, yeah, let's see. Where's my notes? All right. Only other things I have to mention is just reminders. So, reminder number one is the Cake What Cow is still going on. Uh, it's being hosted on my Facebook group, which will be linked below, and on Moe's uh, slash Unseen Strands. I'll link it up there. Um, her Ravelry group. I'll link her YouTube channel up there, but you can get through, you know, to see who she is and all that if you don't know who she is. Uh, so you can enter on the Ravelry group or on the Facebook group or both and you can potentially win from both. 
um, the Cakewalk Cal is just you, from April 14th to October 14th. You can make any project you want out of caked yarns, and it can be pre-caked or caked yourself yarns. It's basically a, a uh, not a scrap buster, but a stash buster. Just trying to use up some yarns, you know. Um, and there'll be there'll be prizes. I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to give away, but I got I still got a little bit of time to worry about that. Uh, I do plan on making a project bag as soon as I can find some cake um, material. So far, I've only been able to find cupcake themed material, which still counts, I guess. Uh, yeah. And the next reminder, number two, is Knit Crate. Uh, I just did a video, my last video, I think, was the June Knit Crate giveaway. So if you're interested in trying to win that, it's really pretty yarn. I didn't even say the dates in that video, did I? Yes, I did. I remember now. It's the 30th. It's going on from now until June 30th. And then on the 1st of July, we'll draw a winner and contact them. And it's two hanks of merino slash cashmere slash nylon wool it's super duper soft and squishy and it's a beautiful color it's kind of a tilly not a till a minty tiffany green kind of color it matches the knit crit color really well beautiful yarn if i made stuff with smaller yarn more often i would totally want to keep it but i do enjoy using worsted weight and light worsted because I, I do mostly make amigurumis and little blankets and stuff so i'm not really into garments however i did find one garment i'm going to make I'll mention that here in a minute. Um, I also have a Knit Crate coupon if you want to try Knit Crate. If you use the coupon code, I'll pop it up down here. Um, no catchy name 20, you can get 20% off your first Knit Crate order. So it goes from $24.99 to I think $20. Um, so that would be you paying $20 and that includes shipping for a, up to $63 worth of yarn and pattern. So that's a really good deal. And the yarn is really nice quality. Like, I was a little sketchy at first because, you know, most hand-dyed um, hanks of yarn is $27 a hank. And even those ones are valued at $24. I don't know how they get the such a good discount. <laughs> but, um, anyways, uh, you can use that coupon code to get 20% off. I do get a kickback from it, but it's your first credit I get the 20% you get off. But it's not from you, it's from the new credit people. And then if you stay subscribed, I get... 2% I think it is, and from the people who have stayed subscribed to it, I get 50 cents a month <laughs> from it. But it is accumulating in um, my PayPal, and that's what I that's the money I use to do giveaways on here. I think right now, because someone else subscribed, uh, Sandra, hi Sandra, to uh, Knit Crate. So that gave me a little bit of money, and something else. I have $8 on there of PayPal money, so that's good. That's enough for another giveaway uh, when we reach more 400 people on the Facebook group, which we're at 330-something, I think, the last time I looked. Anyways, the next reminder, number three, <laughs> is my Etsy store. I mentioned that earlier, but I am having a 15% off all bags sale on my Etsy shop until the 21st of June. Uh, it's to celebrate my one year on YouTube because I really planned for it <laughs> but um I still have five six seven eight nine nine bags I think uh, I have all the ones I've already had on there and then I have two Star Wars themed ones and uh two Harry Potter ones I had four Harry Potter ones but two of them sold I guess ship one today but um so if you're interested in that and then I will be putting up stitch markers just as soon as I get them little hooky things in the mail Hopefully it'll be soon. They usually ship really fast. And yeah, that's all my reminders. Because the only other one I have written down there is when you're on YouTube. But I already mentioned that. <laughs> I can't believe it's been a year. And it's crazy how much the community's grown in a year. Like, when I first started, I started just like Terry did. She made a video last night, I think. Um, a tag video. And I started just like she did. Margaret Olander had a giveaway. And to enter the giveaway, you had to make a little video clip. And I wanted to try to win. <laughs> So I did that, and then I started making videos after that. If you go back and watch my original videos, they're a little sloppy, but, you know, it's a learning process, just like anything. Um, so I did that a year ago, apparently. I, th I was thinking it was July for some reason, but it was June. It was right around Father's Day, because it was June 19th, and that's sometimes Father's Day. Um, right? Or is it the 18th? One of them is sometimes Father's Day. Um, this week, it, this year, it's on the 17th. It's tomorrow. But... <laughs> Uh, I really, I never thought that I would have 
a lot of subscribers. Like, to me, back then, a lot of subscribers was, like, 50. When I hit 50, I was like, oh, my God, that's a lot of people watching me. But now, I'm over 1,200. I have, last time I looked, it was, like, 1,230-something. And that's a lot of people. Like, I don't even know if I've ever talked to that many people before, like, one-on-one -on -one to person to person. And it's just crazy that there's that many people out there interested in watching me talk about yarn. <laughs> but, um, I can't understand because I... Margaret Olander is like my favorite YouTuber. She's been sick with Lyme's disease um, lately, so she hasn't been able to put out as many videos as she used to, which is sad. You know, I hate that she's suffering with Lyme's disease because I've heard that can be pretty rough. But it's also sad because she doesn't put out videos. But um, ever since then, it seems like right after I started doing YouTube, a lot of other people started too. And it's really cool to see all these different people start making videos and to grow our own little communities, you know, but it's also the same people. It's so cool to be like on my Facebook group and seeing people post and then going over to, to Randy's Facebook group or Terry's or something like that and seeing the same people talking. It's just cool that we're actually like a big group of friends that we do know each other. You know, I recognize usernames constantly. I'm like, oh, there's blah, blah. They're, they come in and blah, blah, blah. And I'm saying this to Devin. I talk to Devin about it all the time. Uh, I don't think he watches my videos, but he's extremely supportive, and he's an enabler, and so is my sister. Hi, Hattie. Oh, and I also need to say hi to Kat. I know she's been watching all my videos. Um, she she actually uses another one of my emails to watch YouTube videos, and it's got my name on it. I need to go change that because she commented once on one of my videos, and it looked like it was me. It said Ella Gunter, but I'm no catchy name. The Ella Gunter was Kat, <laughs> but she just uses that email so that she can watch YouTube videos while she's here. And uh, she watches me and she watches, she started watching um, Lisa and Amanda. She subscribed to y'all because I was watching your lab. Um, what day was it? Thursday, I think it was. No, it was when she spent the night. She spent the night Wednesday night. We were watching your live um, video that y'all did that night. And um, she was like, who are they? And I told her and she went and looked you up and subscribed to you. And she's just done that a lot. She subscribed to a lot of the people that I watch just because she started liking it. She's getting really good at crocheting. She's 10. I don't know if I mentioned that. But she, um, she's starting, she's going to be a freehander. I just know it. Because she can, she doesn't know a lot of crochet. Um, but she can make things. It's just interesting to see what she makes. She totally freehands everything. It's going to be, what's it called? Free forming or whatever. I think she's going to be really good at that. And she's really interested in it. She's taking up it, taking it up a lot. I'm planning on buying her a bunch of crochet stuff for Christmas this year, if she's still interested in it. Um, I kind of figured she'd fall out of it because Devin's sister. I taught her a little bit, and then she kind of was interested in it. But Kat's been doing it for a couple of years now. She's really into it. I gave her a bunch of scrap yarn the other day, and she was making all kinds of little shapes and circles and things. And she's learning how to do it in the round. But she was making stuff, and it's just, it's amazing to see her learn. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of you, cat. <laughs> but, yeah. So, if you see someone commenting as Ella Gunter, it's not me. It's cat. <laughs> um, I'm, if it's my comment, it'll say no catchy name. But, I gotta go change that. I know I can change the name in the email uh, setting. So, I'm gonna go change that just to something else. So, that it doesn't look like I'm commenting <laughs> um, something random. But, yeah, I think that's about everything. I don't think I forgot to mention anything. Oh, I do have some more videos filmed. I will have three Ravelry tutorials coming up in the next week or so. Uh, I meant to only make two, but I actually forgot an important part on one of them, so I went ahead and made a little video for it. Um, the Ravel Ravelry tutorials will be how to make a project page. There's two ways that I know of doing it. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but I know I've been using Ravelry for seven years almost eight years so I know I know a lot of it and then there's gonna be how to add photos to your project page that's the part I forgot <laughs> and then I'm also gonna make one for how to use photos on the groups like when you're chatting on the groups on Ravelry how to upload photos because um, it is a little hard to figure out if you don't know how to work it you know so those will be coming out soon actually the first one will be coming out probably Monday or Tuesday because I already got it filmed and edited and all that the first two actually um uh, there was another one i want to make a crochet and chat maybe today sometime once we get back from running around and i thought like there was another video oh i had a couple people ask me about making a tutorial on how to make stitch markers i will be doing that as soon as i can get a good tripod 
I keep looking and I can't find a good one that works the way I want it to work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to order it offline. I hate ordering stuff like that offline because I want to mess with it, and make sure it works the way I want it to. I hate ordering something and then having to send it back and then order another one. I hate that. But uh, I think I'm gonna have to do that to get a tripod for a phone because right now I'm using my phone to film. I want to get a camera eventually, but uh, they kind of expensive. That's, I know I can write it off in my taxes as a business expense, but I still have to pay for it right there at first. So <laughs> there's a lot of money. The camera I want is like $600. It's a Canon G7X. All the vloggers I watch use that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think that is for sure everything this time. I'm going to go make some breakfast real fast and then wake Devin up. What time is it? It's almost 9 o'clock in the morning. Because, uh... I want to get out and Pokemon and there's an event going on today. There's actually three events. You get three times the experience, three times the Stardust, and Lavatar is going to be spotting today. And uh, if you don't know anything about Pokemon, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you do, then you do. <laughs> um, what else are we wanting to do today? I might end up going to yard selling a little bit this morning if we can get out early enough. I love yard selling. I actually got this shirt at the thrift store. I'm going to stand up. It's got this pretty you can't see it, lace on the bottom. Our local thrift store, it's a charity one. They, um, I don't know how much of their money, but a lot of it goes to their missions. It's, it's owned by, like, a Christian organization. Um, every now and then they have a bag sale, which is where you get, like, a shopping bag. Like a Walmart bag. Um, anything, any clothing items, shoes, purses, belts, or clothes that you can fit in there is $9. Which is good, because normally they're, like, $3.99. And the other day, me and Kat went, and that sale was going on. So we got two bags full of clothes for both of us and Devin. Um, for $18, but had we I bought them separately, it would have been like 60 something dollars. I love the bag sales, and I don't mind wearing secondhand clothes. I mean, you wash them and they're clean. Um, with that being said, I wouldn't wear secondhand undergarments, but uh, shirts and pants, you know, I don't care. <laughs> I grew up wearing secondhand clothes for my family, so might as well buy them as an adult, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I love thrift shopping. I love watching people thrift hauls. There's one I watch. I can't remember her name. Her channel name now. The Thrifty Mom. Or something like that. I can't remember. She's a Canadian YouTuber. But she thrift hauls. And she gets some of the coolest stuff. She's the size of a bean pole. So she can get the really cute clothes. <laughs> but uh, I did really get a really cool Gatlinburg t-shirt. Or it's not really a t-shirt. It's like a. It's a shirt in the front and then the back's open. I don't know what that would be called. But I've been wearing it ever since I washed it and, you know, dried it and bought it, washed it, dried it. I've been wearing it pretty much ever since. I got it to wear around the house in because, you know, I'm, I'm not comfortable showing my back in public. But, um, and also to wear over my bathing suit because it covers up my chest part. And, uh, I don't like walking around naked in front of everybody. Because then when you're in your bathing suit, you're basically in your underwear. People aren't comfortable walking around in their underwear in front of their family, but they'll walk around in a bathing suit in front of their family. It doesn't make sense. Whatever. I'm gonna go because I'm babbling. It's 38 minutes. Uh, I gotta go fix some breakfast and wake up Devin. So I will see you guys in the next video, which will actually be pretty soon. Um, probably Monday. <laughs> but I'll see you in the next No Catch Name episode next Saturday. And I hope you all are having an awesome weekend. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. I don't know if there are any fathers who watch me. but Or acting fathers. I know there's a lot of men up there who step up and, you know, pick up where another man left off. And that's cool. I've actually had a guy do that to me. Not to me but for me <laughs> so um yeah <laughs> and uh I tell you Devin and his dad are like two of the best dads I've ever seen in my whole life <laughs> I'm so proud of both of them they're both just awesome anyways back to leaving because I'll, I'll sit here and talk forever about Devin I could talk forever about Devin but um yeah I'll see you guys in the next video bye